Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Kay, I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in Boston, and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. The great thing about organizing your house and keeping track of it online is that I can see how often I have decluttered a space, and it was uh, almost or a little more than six months ago where I did my annual beauty declutter. I usually do it twice a year, um, but I guess I've been doing it every six months. Um, it's time to do it again, and I'm afraid. So I'm probably just gonna reorganize it and give away a few things. I already have a few things in my giveaway pile already, um, but just a few disclaimers before I start this video. Yes, I'm aware I have a lot of makeup. I have makeup like some people have crafts in their craft room. I sit here, this is my vanity, I sit here and I spend a lot of time here. I play around, I mess around, it's, uh, my face is my canvas and these are my art tools. So I just happen to have a lot of fun. I love makeup, I fell into a whole like rabbit hole of beauty YouTube and that started my obsession. I don't feel bad about it. It doesn't interfere with my life in any way. So I'm aware I have a lot of stuff for one face. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. The makeup that I give away has homes already. Uh, the ladies at the opera are very happy to receive these during the during uh, tech week when we're in our dressing rooms. Uh, it goes pretty fast so uh, the makeup already has homes. Anything that's uh, still okay to be used, uh, I give away to friends uh, and colleagues and they love it, they're grateful for it. So uh, nothing, uh, except if it's bad, nothing is going to, to the trash and everything has a home. I only say these things because I watch these videos all the time, they're very satisfying. Uh, but I see a bunch of rude comments underneath, I'm like, you have too much makeup, or don't you have any other hobbies? I'm like, just chill out, okay? I have two vices, okay? I buy a lot of makeup and I spend a lot of money on dog toys. Just just let me live my life, okay? Anyway, I hope this video inspires you to sort of clean out your beauty collection or reorganize it. Something tells me we're gonna do more reorganizing than decluttering, but you know, that's what is what it is. And confession, I do have a Sephora order on the way. I have another eyeshadow palette coming. I know I don't need more eyeshadow palettes, but I just I had to. So we're gonna make sure she has a place to go when she arrives to me in a few days. Right, Clover? Right? <laughs> this is my little helper. I really don't think he's gonna help very much, but he's certainly gonna be here and uh, appreciate the uh, decluttering action. So uh, say hello, Clover. This is Clover Dog. Hello, oh, he, I called his name, so he's like, what? What? <sighs> Let's grab some coffee before we do this, shall we? So while my coffee's brewing, I can tell you guys what's going on here. This is my vanity. This is actually a leaning desk. I got it from Container Store, but it's discontinued, so you can't buy it anymore. But there are very similar desks online. I will put some links for you. So I basically just have like some decorations up there and some tissues and my perfumes there. Dirty brushes and dirty sponges go there. And then this is like my top shelf collection here and my two mirrors hanging out there. I got the palettes. I was messing with those earlier. And this drawer unit is, I think it's called the Helmer from Ikea. Sorry, the truck noise, oh my gosh. This little guy down here is the Helmer from Ikea. I believe it was super cheap. I think it was like 30 bucks or something. And it has the uh, extra beauty stuff that I have. And I think I, I, I emptied some of these drawers earlier, but I think I'm gonna repurpose these to have like some like skincare backups and maybe some like beauty stuff that isn't like makeup. So we'll see what happens there. And I have a little trash can there. I, I get a lot of questions about this brocade stuff. This was from Container Store. I believe this was an interdesign design. <laughs> um, I'm not sure, but I will, I will definitely um, correct. I'll put a correction on the screen if I'm wrong, but they just continue this. How annoying is that? Um, so sorry, you can't get it anymore, but it's super cute. Okay, I've got my coffee, and I just want to say that this is the Keurig Cinnabon coffee, and this is so good. This is like my favorite coffee in the world right now, and I'm obsessed. It tastes not like a Cinnabon, but more like cinnamon. It's really, really good. So uh, I probably shouldn't even be drinking this. It's like 4 o'clock. Not even 4, no, it's 3 o'clock. And um, it's probably, I'm going to be up all night, but you know what? YOLO. Okay, so since this is my top shelf stuff, I'm just going to go through and make sure that everything else and here is still good. So top shelf stuff is stuff I use all the time. So this is my highlighter drawer. I have um, lots of highlighters. I like them a lot. This is the Bobbi Brown highlighter in apricot. It's discontinued. 
uh, but I love this so much. The ambient uh, lighting powders, I love those. I actually used this for the first time today. Um, and I only used one side. I used the um, the glow side. This is like a matte powder side. Haven't used the matte powder side yet, but I so far I'm liking it. So we're gonna keep that. And everything else in here is pretty good, I think. Let's see. Only thing I'm questioning is the Mary Mary Luminizer. I haven't used her in like a hot minute. Let me go ahead and swatch and see if I still like it. It is really pretty. All right, I'm gonna give her another shot. If she she's she's gone in the next declutter though, if I haven't used it. Um, these guys are my Becca highlighters. Love them. I've got Champagne Pop, and I've got Copper. Co like it's Copper. What's this called? Blushed Copper. And I think this is like the original blushed copper. I think this is a bl like a blush now, or maybe it was, maybe it's discontinued, I don't know. But it's super pretty either way. It's like really good for like deeper skinned uh, gals like me. And this is brand new. This is like a little Bobby Brown mini. And like truthfully, honestly, it's probably, it's very similar to this, um, but I like them both. This is a little more um, warm and uh, like orangey. This is just like more shimmery. I like them both. Um, this is a little more subtle. This is, I, I'm obsessed with this. I wish they hadn't discontinued this, but it'll last me forever, so it doesn't matter. Um, these Stila powders, I still use all the time. I love them. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna blind you. Not a proper beauty guru, I'm sorry. Um, but these powders are so pretty. They're actually like putty. I haven't stuck my finger in them. I just use my brush, and they're super pretty. This one's like bronzy and awesome. This one's like more like champagne-y. This one's like when I'm feeling like a unicorn, but they're so pretty, I love them. Um, this Artist Couture, I got this in a boxy charm, and I like it. It's just a loose glitter, like loose highlighter, and I just, I can't with these. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so messy. It, I'm, I'm, I appreciate that it has, like, a stopper and everything, but I, truth be told, I never reach for this, so it's gotta go. I'm so sad got an itty bitty Becca uh, rose gold she's fine I still use her occasionally and the Fenty thing this is super glittery but it's kind of fabulous if you're going out it's called um, Hustler Baby and it's awesome it's one of the kilowatt highlighters it's kind of bomb um, so there that's all that's all that goes in there I wish that fit in there that would make me so happy but it doesn't so gosh can I rearrange these some in somehow that it's more why does that not fit in there that's so dissatisfying does this one fit in there? Oh, yes. Yes. Does this one fit? This one doesn't. What's going on with this? Okay, I rearranged it. I don't know if that's better or worse. We'll see. Um, I typically, I mean, I hate when things are in the back, but I, I do love this, so I'm gonna open this all the way anyway, so now I can, like, reach for stuff, and it's a little more, like, stuff's like, I mean, I've got room. She's got potential for more highlighters, so um, that's fine. We're just gonna put that in there. Uh, this is eyeshadow. This is, like, eyeshadow singles and, like, smaller palettes. Um, I don't open this drawer as much as I should, to be totally totally honest um, but I don't think I'm gonna give anything away from this because it's all either like limited edition and I really like it or um, I, I use it like I use this Stila single I use this NARS guy look how glittery and fabulous that is oh my gosh I think you can still buy this um, but I only I honestly I only wear this out when it's like time to be fabulous which is you know like nights out or whatever could be tonight I'm going out so I might slap a little bit of that on in your corner there um, this palette is so underrated. This like Stila palette. I love this for traveling. This is the best. Um, but uh, these are both, these are all Stila palettes. I do, hmm. I haven't used this one in a while. This is like the Eyes of the Window palettes. But I want to give it a chance. Um, I've used this one. Oh, my sensor mirror came on. I've used this one quite a bit. Uh, even though it doesn't look like it, I've used it quite a bit. It's really pretty. Um, it only has one, wait, there's no matte colors in here. That's kind of a shame. Um, but I've used it, so I took this one, I took, I took these both to Paris. Um, 
but I don't think I'm going to get rid of anything in this little pile, but I'm just going to rearrange it so it looks a little less crazy. There. Hope I can close it now. Bummer. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> okay. There. Okay. Um, blush drawer. Always, always questionable because I am a blush collector. I like having the blushes. Pink powders. They're fun. Narcissist palette. We love her very much. We use her all the time. I don't think you can get this one anymore, but maybe you can. I don't know. Um, anyway, I use it a lot. I use it like a lot, Cause especially because it has um, Exhibit A in it. I love that color. It's really good on deep skin tones, so I use it all the time. Love Flush Palette. Don't use it as much, but I still use it. It's this really terrible shape. I mean, look how long it is, but like, but it's fine. Whatever. We love her. Can't get it anymore either. <laughs> this NARS dual intensity blush. I don't even think they make these anymore. I feel like that was like a flash in the pan. I don't use this. I have used it. Like, check it out. I have most definitely used it. Oh my gosh, what's going on? It, I just, um, I haven't used it in the last, like, nine months or something. And... I don't know, it's questionable. Let me go ahead and do a swatch. swatch a -roo. There's the blush. There's the highlighter. They're both really pretty. This is really hard, because I really like this, but I haven't used it. I'm, I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, no. I had to grab a tissue and some micellar water, because it's... I guess we're swatching up in here. <laughs> um, so anyway, I think I'm going to let go of the Stephen Klein. Um, I just haven't used it, even though it makes me so sad because this was so cool. Um, but I just, I never reach for it. This is bomb, even though it looks crazy. Um, it's super sheer on the skin and it just looks really pretty. And I love this blush. Let me just go through all my NARS blushes and make sure that I don't need to get rid of anything, even though that, that thought horrifies me. I'm not even joking. Um, because NARS blushes are like my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> so this um, Sarah Moon blush, super pretty. Love that one. Um, this is Lovejoy. I use it all the time. Not letting go of this one. It's sort of, um, it's like, oh my gosh, the light. It's like a, it's got glitter in it and it's a, like a brownie. It's so pretty. Um, so this is NARS Sin. We love that one. It's just one of my favorites. I love it so much. I use it all the time, especially in winter. Um, this one is Orgasm. Don't love love, but use it up. Look how, look at pretty, it's got a pretty like golden, it is super pretty. It's got this pretty like golden shift to it, but I don't use it as much as like everybody else, I don't think, but I do like it. This is Albatross. Wow, I even, fr you know what? Forgot I had this. I'm glad I opened it. I haven't used it in a while, so that's gonna remind me to use it. Uh, look, it's Editing K here. Look, listen, okay, I know that it's a highlighter, okay? I know that technically it shouldn't be in my blush drawer, but the shape of it, it upsets me to put it with the rest of my highlighters when it fits so well with the rest of my blushes. And saying this out loud actually makes me realize how stupid that is. Okay, uh, carry on. Carry on. And this one is Dolce Vita. Um, don't use it as much as I probably should. I have second thoughts about Dolce Vita. I just don't use it ever. I never reach for it. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of it. Oh my god, that's painful. I feel really bad about that because it's a pretty color, but I just never wear it. Um, this is little, this is a Gulu or something. This came with like a VIB, like rouge gift back in the day. I actually really like this, and um, it's kind of the same as Dolce Vita. I do wear this one though, um, so and look how cute it is, it's so cute. That voice is so, so unnecessary. This is the NARS 4Play palette, and I do travel with this one occasionally, so I'm gonna keep it around. It's really, I've, I've used it, you can see it looks kind of used, so just the orgasm, I like dug into that, so um, that's cool keeping that. The Narcissist Cheek Palette. Oh yeah, we love her. I've traveled with this one a few times. Um, it's just, I, I don't, I don't want to say anything that I don't know, but I don't think they make this formula anymore. I think like they discontinued this stuff. 
I mean, it wasn't the best, but I, I think it's really cool. You can use it wet or dry. I never used it wet. I'm going to be honest. Um, but it's a cool, it's like, it's got a cool like finish. It's kind of sheeny, but not glittery. So we love that. So those are the NARS blushes. I can't believe I got rid of some. I'm devastated, but gotta do what you gotta do. Um, Songbird, uh, Becca, we're going to keep that. Love that. I do have mixed feelings about Snapdragon though. I haven't picked up Snapdragon in like a long time. <laughs> um, man, I think I'm going to get rid of Snapdragon. Oh my God, how sad. I'm sad. This is making me super sad. <laughs> It's really not that serious. It's it's not. Okay. Um, wow. I love this blush. I use this all the time, but like Snapdragon I haven't used in like, I don't know, like probably a year or something. It's really sad. So um, the Tarte blushes. Blushing Bride, we use that. Um, this is Natural Beauty, I use that. Exposed. Exposed. I know I'm getting overboard, but that was all I could think of when I opened up Exposed. I've been watching way too much YouTube. Like, it's, I need to get off. I need to, I need to, I need to get off. Not as much. Mm. This is really light for my skin tone, as you can see. It's kind of like struggle bus when I put it on. <laughs> Do I really want this? I mean, let's swatch her. Oh my gosh, the sunlight. Okay, here we go. It's like nothing. These blushes swatch so crappy, crappily. Okay, it didn't even show up on my skin. Like, I am in such denial because I wanted to keep the exposed, 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 exposed. You know who's, you know who's exposed? Me. Me. I mean, really? I mean, I never use it. Okay. Achote, I don't think that they um, make this anymore, but this is one of my favorite colors and these things last forever, so I'm definitely keeping that. So, we've got three Tarte blushes left. <laughs> okay, um, this is uh, Radiant Magenta. T to be honest with you, I haven't used this in a while, only because I forgot it was in here, but um, I do use this, and I've, like, I've worn down the pan on this. I like it a lot. It's super cute. I can use it more in the winter than I can in the summertime because in the summer it just it's I'm just too dark for it. But in the winter it looks really cute. And both of these um, Clinique blushes I use a lot. Um, with the, I use this one more than I use this one though. But this hot pink is super cute. I've like worn down though the flower pattern on this one. Like you can't. Oh my gosh, the light. You can't even. You can hardly tell that it was it was a daisy at some point. But like. <laughs> I wear this one probably like three days out of seven uh, just because it looks really pretty on my skin so um, wow what wow okay so let's let's rearrange this stuff just a, a tad so we can put that back there because that's where that's gonna fit and maybe we'll like do a little switcheroo of um, hmm. This like needs its own like it's like orbit. It's going. It's so big. Why is this packaging just huge like that? Okay. Blushes are going that way. That way. One of these is now like the wrong, facing the wrong way. We can't have that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. So is this one gonna fit there? This is so annoying. We go boom we got a whole NARS like universe over here and then maybe that means I can put oh you know what though okay I had here confession this is from like four Christmases ago okay don't shoot me but like why why did I use this today and I was not happy with it I feel like the one one of these in here is like let's see they don't even say the colors on here how irritating. 
But this one in the middle I was using for a while, this like pink thing, but I have something very similar to it. And like this, this blush is like too pigmented and like this one doesn't show up at all. Like I don't know what they were thinking with that. Um, but the rest of the, and I tried this one on today, it didn't show up and this one is too pigmented. So I think I'm gonna let go of this palette. This makes me real sad because like it's so cute. I mean, a lot of people said it was like super ugly. It's got these like little hairpins on it that came with it as a part of its whole Christmas thing. Whatever, it's gotta go. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. Honestly though, like two years ago, I would not even, even like, like three years ago, I would not have done that. I would have been like, oh, I gotta hold on to that stuff forever. But like, I, I can't, you know, like this is what's get you, this is what, this is what gets used. So into the drawer we go and we've got potential. We've got potential for me to like go and shop more because why not? Order, order. All right, I've closed the top of the blind and opened the bottom of the blind. So hopefully the light is not so intrusive, but like this stuff up here, these are like my, oh my gosh. <laughs> this business up here is like stuff I love and use all the time but we're gonna take a peek here as well. Um, Ace Beauty, grandiose palette. I've used it once. I'm gonna give it one more chance to like impress me. I hate that there's no mirror in here, like why? Um, but hey, we're gonna use it and we're gonna make sure I see it. The rest of these are my ABH palettes and I pretty much hoard these <laughs> and they're not going anywhere. I'm not, I'm just kidding. I don't really hoard them. I actually do use them. I love them all. I've got Renaissance. We've got Soft Glam. We've got Subculture. We've got, um, Norvina. We've got, um, what is this? Self Made. We, we've got them all. I even have the Mario palette. Like, totally, like, Smoky Glow. I'm sorry, girl. Um, this palette is really bomb. Like, look, it's been abused. We love her. Um, and I love and use the, um, what was this palette? This was the, like, World Traveler palette? Yeah. This is the World Traveler palette. This is like the oldest ABH palette I have. And the formula has changed a little significantly, but it's still good. Um, and I just got the, this Mothership palette from uh, Pat McGrath. So I still use this. I'll show it to you. It's kind of not super impressive, but it's pretty. And there is question, okay, this is a highlighter palette. So why is this up here? First of all, like what am I doing? Um, okay, confessions. I have had this palette such a long time. I forget which Christmas this came out, but this was like an Ulta exclusive or something like that, and I picked it up. And as you can see, I have abused the Topaz color in this palette, and I have used the blushes as well. It's old, right? But I'm keeping it, because <laughs> I use it all the time. Oh man. This, however, this Becca palette, you can't get this anymore. And I use it every now and again. As you can see, I've made a dent in like two of these colors. Um, but I don't use it very much, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it because it's it's like one of my old faves It's kind of not as awesome as like an ABH palette, but still pretty good. So this is like the Dusk to Dawn palette from Wander Beauty. I said I was gonna try this out and I have tried this out and I don't like it So it's gotta go. <laughs> I'll come back to eyeshadow palettes in a minute, but we're gonna go to Face this is my face drawer. I don't have a lot of foundations. I just, um, I have a few. Here they are. There's the light again. I'm sorry, you guys, but I'm filming this uh, late in the day and the sun is crazy. So this is like my face drawer with all my face stuff, like my, found my foundations and stuff. Foundations, foundations. So I use the Peach Perfect Too Faced foundation. I have used up like most of this, I think. Um, so it has got a pump on it. Um, it's really good. It smells good. It I mean, it's it's good. And the Fenty foundation, which I have on today, which is really good. And what else do I have? I have one other foundation. I have the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade Classic Tan. What does that even mean? Like, Classic Tan. Like, what were they thinking? Like, not like, not like Nouveau Tan, not Old Fashioned Tan, not, um, trendy tan, but classic tan. What does that mean? Why is this like an existential crisis for me? Okay, anyway, uh, I like this foundation. It's nice. It's a, it's a more, it's like the best. This one matches the best with my skin than any of these. Like, um, this one matches my skin right now in winter. Spoiler alert, no one cares. Also, I didn't get rid of anything. So enjoy the next scene of me uh, trying to get my drawer back together.
Well, whatever. Oh no, you gotta get in there too. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> that was so frustrating. I at least like the whole like sponges hanging around thing is not a thing anymore. I just that was getting on my nerves. Um, I have my beauty blender like up here as well in its own little container. It doesn't have to be in there, but like this is a primer too. This is not working out. This is like, I got all my face stuff here. Like, this is not, this is not working out. Hmm. Huh. All right, we're going to rehome this stuff. Hold on. Okay, I've compromised. I've moved the powders and the contouring stuff, not the contouring stuff, sorry, the powders and the concealers and all of the sponges down here. And the concealers are here, no. The foundations are here, the primers and the contouring stuff is now here. So that's what we're doing. Uh, that's gonna have to do. And let's, let's go in the back here while we're at it. There's some stuff in the back that I like never reach for, like these eye pencils, because um, I do use this. This is like some face spray. I don't even know what it's for, but it feels good. Um, because this drawer is like where I reach for all my eye stuff. So let's, let's take care of that. The white is fine. This black one is fine fine. These are all fine, right? Um, what's this gel eyeliner? Is this any good? This like, um, meh. Let me just go through here and make sure everything is good. Let me just make sure this is still nice. Oh, this is awesome. This is my favorite, um, cream eyeliner from L'Oreal. So good. There we go. We've zoomed in. I think it's called the lacquer eyeliner from L'Oreal. It's really, really good. You can get this at the drugstore. This is the best um, liquid eye, not liquid, the cream eyeliner on the market. Um, takes a little more time to use, but I've used it. I love it. This is an eyeline, uh, eyelash curler, but it's like a heated one. Um, honestly, I haven't used this in forever, so we're going to get rid of her. Wow, interesting. Now I can't get the eyeliner off. Maybe I should keep, keep it. It might come back. Okay, I'm I'm going to give this another try since it was like, it's, it's, wow. This is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner. Oh my gosh, stop beeping. Nothing's gonna help it. Beeping is not gonna help it. This is brow stuff I actually have been using. All my, so all my eye stuff and brow stuff ended up in the same drawer, um, which honestly, I mean, it's fine. But like, I wish there was a little more separation. Like, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I can move all of this stuff to another drawer because this is, it just, just doesn't get used there. But, or I can like move some stuff into it. Like these palettes, I don't, I don't reach for these that much, but we'll, we'll cycle those into like the palette drawer. Let's move that out and let's put some brow stuff in here with the singles. I've used this brow kit quite a bit in the past um, few months and I like it. I only use one color, but <laughs> I like it and I've used it with the brush that came with it, which is like this 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 thing the brow gal so uh, Tanya Crooks that will come in there it's really good and this is a brow thing that I've been testing out I don't love this but I've been using it so we'll continue I'll just use it up um, and this so the rest of the stuff is eyeliner and except for this what is this this is eye gel eyebrow gel it, is this clear how old is this you know what? We're throwing this in the trash. I can't even deal. I don't know how I, it seems really old. Okay. There's a hair in there. So we're going to get rid of her. <laughs> um, this has been around a while. I'm going to throw this out. This is a mascara. This mascara. I don't think that I liked it. I don't, I think I tried it once. <sighs> I'll give it another try, but I don't think I liked it. 
So uh, you'll use it the next time and see if I like it. Oh, I'm going to put this, these tweezers in the new brow place. This is um, a duo lash glue, so I'm going to leave that in there. Superhero mascara, I like. This is old, so I'm going to throw that in the trash. Um, I just know that it's old. This eyeliner, is pro I probably should get a new one, um, but I'm going to keep using this up for now. This is the Sephora liquid eyeliner. This is just as good as the Stila liquid eyeliner. It's so good. Um, what's this? Is this a black eyeliner too? This is the Starlux black eyeliner. So I have, I'm up, up to my ears in black, li black eyeliners. I use them up, so I'm not really upset about it. Um, we're just going to keep those here in the front. This one I've used the most of. This is vintage. I think this is maybe the blackest, which is why I've used it the most. Well, you know what? It's not really the blackest. It's like as black as, um, I think the Starlux was, was black, was blacker. Huh. Interesting. So I'm going to let that dry and we'll wipe it later and see if it's, uh, see if it's really good. So all the rest of these mascaras. Okay. So I have four mascaras open right now. No, that's not true. I have three open right now. So I have the Voluminous Carbon Black Superhero Mascara, which I actually, I like. I don't think I'm going to repurchase this, um, but I liked it. Oh, look, it's like called Goopy, but I, I like it. Um, I'll, I'll use it up. And I've got some corrector here for in case I make mistakes in an eyeliner. We're just going to shove that to the front. And this is the eyeliner as well. So we'll shove that right there. And this is primer. So I think this is more manageable yeah yeah I use all the stuff in here I am like crazy for eyeliner and stuff so yay all right that is everything on the top here okay here's the deal I think this video is getting a little long so I think I'm gonna split it into two parts so the next part I'm gonna go and I'm going to go for the drawers underneath there and um, clean those up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this decluttering video or organizing video. I hope this inspires you to go and organize your beauty collection, whether you're a beauty junkie like me or you just have some makeup that you've had since like 1992 and it's time to throw it out. Uh, <laughs> I hope this inspires you to do that. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!